Right, let's set up our view project so we can start connecting our backend out on front end. Currently I'm in my backend library here, so I need to go one back. So I am in the library where I have my backend uh, library as well. So I'm gonna do quickly just to make sure I have your view installed and I think I did in the previous video, but right now I'm at 5.0.1. So you can just do a quick test to see if you're at this point or a newer one. But to create a project, you just type you create and then the name. I'm just gonna call it front end because uh, front end back end. So <clears throat> this will prompt you with this here and I'm gonna do manually select with enter and I'm gonna select router with space and CSS process. I'm not actually gonna do CSS processes, but it's just something I do. I'm not gonna be using Vue X in this one. I could set up a Vue X uh, for the state management store but I'm going to do modules or composables instead. So sort of creating my own little Vuex state management system uh, instead of. So next one will be, I'm gonna choose view three. So I wanna use the composition API and I'm gonna do yes for history mode, uh, just as CSS, uh, if you have that on, ESLint with error print, uh, lint on save. And I don't wanna save this in the project or a default template for later on. So now we have, or now it will install all our view files and I can just start expanding this while this does this. So once this is created, I am just going to start a server uh, to check if everything is running correctly once it's done loading here. So, and then I will remove the default setups with hello world for it right now. I don't want to do it now, but so we have public, this is where you have your index if you need to change something specific like fev icon or you need to add Google fonts or something like this, you can still use it in there. Or if you wanna use bootstrap simple, but CDN. But in our views, components, router, we have these things here. So this is view 5.0. Uh, and in this one, compared to the other one, it was just about.view, but now we have to multi, multi name components like about view, and hello world uh, component. I don't know if it's called that as well, but it isn't. But just to make sure everything worked, I'm just gonna do CD front end, test and NPM run surf to start our node, our node, yes, well, our node and our view. And uh, this shouldn't take too long. And once this is done, I'm just going to quickly open this in a browser, which popped up in a different window, which is just great. Uh, there we go. So I can see it's running right now. And I just want to remove the hello world part because I don't really want to use it. So I'm going to take the hello world and I'm going to click it correctly and just delete this, move to bin, where is the, there we go, delete. Yes, move to trash. And I'm going to now just fix the quick errors that we have, which is basically it's trying to use hello world up here. So I'm deleting this. I am marking out the, no, I'm not marking I'm just deleting the hello world and the component here. So. The three standard things for having this up here. And then, whoopty, we got our working view project. So we'll elaborate or continue more in the next video.